To build these magnetic paddle shifters, you will need a micro lever switch, 7 M3 cap socket screws, 6 M3 nuts, and 2 8mm diameter magnets. The 3D printed parts required include a centre switch holder, a top plate, base housing, and a lever. Also, a printed choice of paddle, either F1 or GT sizing. Take the printed lever piece and clean out the pivot point with a 3mm drill bit. Insert one M3 cap socket bolt to check the lever moves freely. Next, check the fit of the lever into the base housing. If the fit is too tight, take a fine file or some sandpaper to smooth the edges and clean up any overhangs or artifacts. Recheck the fit of the lever into the base. There should be no resistance or binding. These steps are important to achieve smooth operating paddles. To keep the magnets in place, add a few small drops of super glue to the lever and press in the magnet. Check the orientation of the magnets, then place the second magnet into the base housing. Add a few drops of super glue around the magnet. Work quickly and adjust the magnet to sit flush with the inside of the housing. Set the glued components aside to dry and begin work on soldering the switch. The micro lever switch has three terminals. These are labelled C for common, NO for normally open and NC for normally closed. We will be wiring to the C terminal and to the NO terminal. This configuration will keep the circuit open until the lever presses on the switch. Add some solder to the ends of the C and the NO terminals and solder the wires on. Take the printed centre piece and insert the wired switch. Add some hot glue to the back of the switch to secure its position. Next, place two M3 nuts into the back of the lever, then attach the paddle to the lever using the two M3 10mm cap socket screws. Place the paddle assembly into the base housing and screw in one M3 cap socket screw. Add the centre piece with the switch to the assembly. Check that the switch is engaging when depressing the lever. If not, hold the switch depressed and bend the end up slightly and check again.
Add four cap socket screws through the base of the assembly. The top plate has four mounting points with recesses for four nuts. This will face towards the inside of the assembly. Add nuts to the outside of the top plate and tighten down each of the four corners to complete the component. To keep the wiring neat and tidy, the wires can be twisted around each other. These DIY magnetic paddle shifters have a solid high quality feel and a positive click and return on the lever action.